Hi, and thanks for choosing Pellhost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install Forge 1.18 on your Minecraft server. This is pretty easy and pretty quick to do, and I'm going to show you it right now. So first of all, you want to go to the Forge download page. I'll leave a link to this in the description. As you can see, we are on the downloads page for Minecraft 1.18. We can just click Installer. It will then take us through this, which we can just wait 5 seconds in the top corner, and it will give us a skip button. Once the skip button has appeared, we can go ahead and click that. It will ask us what we want to save it, we'll save it in downloads. And as you can see, it's now downloaded. So now we can run the forge file. We can then go to install client and click OK. Alright, so there we go, we've now successfully installed the client. Now we can click OK and open up the forge file once again. We then want to click install server. And as you can see, it is currently red. This is because we already have files at the directory. So we need to click the three dots. I'm going to save everything in my desktop, so we, as you see, we've got some folders here. We can right click, click new folder, we'll just type in server, and then click open. As you see, it's selected the server folder. We can then click OK. As you can see, it's installing all the files we need for our server. Alright, so there we go, we've now successfully downloaded the server as well. We can then click OK, and now we want to go back to Pebblehost. As you can see, we are currently running vanilla Minecraft 1.18. And of course, we need to be running Forge. So you want to go to the server type and go to the jar and pre-install menu. And just note that if you do have a host premium or you have bought the mod pack add-on, then you can just go to other pre-installs and click Forge 1.18 just like that. But if you do not have Pebble host premium or you do not have the mod pack add-on, you need to go to other and then Forge 1.18 in brackets requires setup. This is free for everyone, literally every single person can use this and require setup is really easy to do. So once you have selected it, go ahead and click save. Alright, I'm just going to stop the server now. And as you can see, our new server type is Forge 1.18. But as I said, we still do need to set it up. So we want to go to file manager on the left. And then we want to go to upload, folder, make sure you don't click file, make sure you click folder. And then you basically want to find where you installed it. So we installed it in the server folder. You would double click that and then select the libraries folder. Don't open it, just click the libraries folder once and click upload. It will ask you if you want to upload these files, which you can just click upload. As you see, it's now uploading them. This shouldn't take more than a minute or two. Okay, so we've now installed our libraries folder. We can then click back and now we can start our server. If we go to Minecraft Launcher, you can see that we do have Forge 1.18 here. This is because we installed the client earlier. If you didn't install the client, you wouldn't have this and you wouldn't be able to join the server. But now we do have it, we can go ahead and click play. Now once the server is up, I'll join it and show you that everything is working. Okay, so as you can see, we can go ahead and join our server. You can tell us it's a forge server by doing slash forge. And as you can see, we have some things here. We can do slash forge TPS, or we could do slash forge mods. And as you can tell, I haven't got any mods installed, but if I did, they would all show up in there. If you are looking for a tutorial on how to install mods, we do have a video on that and I'll leave it as a card right now and also a video in the description. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If it did help you out, definitely leave a like and also subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time.